can you say from your point of view whether it is feasible to achieve these commitments um, and do you have any ideas or suggestions on how we can make it more feasible for us to achieve those goals? Thank you, Nga. The commitments that the Prime Minister made in COP26, it was a breakthrough and we all agree that it is ambitious and after that we very surprised to realize that there has been a lot of support and adoption from businesses as well as consumers i think that it is doable if we have commitment from businesses but more importantly from consumers it start with responsible consumptions, with awareness raising, with awareness sharing, with lifestyle building. Before we enter Industrial Revolution 4.0, it seemed not possible, but now we are in the revolution. We are transitioning to a green lifestyle, to an ESG infused lifestyle. And along with that, we, we also have clear, strong social and legal framework to enable this. We need to have technology being imported to Vietnam in order to facilitate this uh, we we are talking about waste recycling technology we're talking about circular economy technology and the final point here is for business to be sharing your best practices your operations policies the things that you are doing sharing it with other people so that we can build a holistic ecosystem that's the only way that we will be able to achieve that so you suggested four pillars now mr lim i'd like to ask you whether you agree with this mr kim whether you agree with this or would you like to add something more i basically agree with this you coming back to your first question on Next zero commitment towards 2050, whether it is possible, whether it is feasible, doable or not. Let's not talk about that. Let's talk about the other, the flip side of the coin. If we don't achieve that, what would happen to us by 2050? So we all and I do agree that it is a very ambitious commitment. But the flip side to it is unimaginable and the question is not whether it's doable, the, the issue is that we have to do it and we need such kind of commitment in order for us to really put our foot down and start on the journey. With us, we set a goal that by 2027 uh, we will reduce 50% of our GHG remission and by 2050 we would reduce it to net zero that is the goal that we have for ourselves and i know that for each of the business here each of the individual here you are a part of this commitment that we made at 20 uh, at cop 26 and i believe that with the action and the contribution of each of us here if we do it then we will achieve it maybe we wouldn't just achieve net zero we may just achieve net 10 or net 100 but that would still be good enough it would be um, a fact to see that we have done something and that we have gone somewhere thank you mr kim À, tôi muốn nghe ý kiến từ phía anh Howard ở cô Techcon ạ à. Hơ Tôi thì là người khá là lạc quan 
Và tôi rất tin là khi mà chúng ta đặt ra một mục tiêu chung như vậy Chúng ta sẽ đạt được mục tiêu đó Chúng ta đã có cam kết từ uh, chính phủ cấp trung ương Thì cam kết từ chính phủ cấp trung ương là một cái rất là quan trọng Tại vì khi đã có cam kết ở cấp cao như vậy Tất cả các cá nhân và các doanh nghiệp ở uh, tầng phía dưới Đều sẽ phải đi theo với mục tiêu mà chúng ta đã được đặt ra Và tôi tin là nó có thể đạt được Uh, can we listen to Mr. Lum's idea, please? Uh, I'm from a tech company, and my view is that it is achievable. For us to achieve net zero, first we need technology. I agree with you. And we do have the technology to achieve energy efficiency, to achieve digitalization. In Vietnam, we are launching 5G. I have tried it from Viettel. We do have the technology and they are available. Now we also talk about energy, green energy. We have seen government's commitment in energy transition to 40% of renewable energy by 2050. Right now we have 20% of our energy coming from renewable energy. We are in top 10 in the world and I believe that we can achieve the goal of 40% in five years. And we are able to greenify our energy. We, we have the commitment from central government, we have awareness from community. So we do have the basic elements there, but in order to achieve it, we do need commitment and actual tangible actions for all of us. We know that in top 500 companies in the world, we all have ESG commitments. What is more important is whether we have actions. Uh, we have to have base targets and the commitments that we make, it has to be evidence-based, it has to be achievable, it has to be tangible. So we do have the technology, we do have the commitment. I think that it's achievable. Thank you very much from the very strong work from Mr. Lam and uh, maybe now we'd like to hear from Mr. Kim for DKS page. We aim to achieve a net zero by 2030 and that will be a strong con contribution to the commitment that Vietnam has made. We agree with Mr. Lim that whether we achieve a net zero by 2050 as a country or not, the goal itself will be a drive, a motivation for us to do more in sustainable development in ESG to overall create a better environment for all of us. Thank you so much for the insights from our panelists.